the sacrifice of mass, Beatrice, when I look along, give us a mukama, the Amsobasa, Okwana, a cabinje, Era, a sabomukama, a mujanja, Vedam, you gave you wound, Evi Muruma. Juliet, in union with the Virgin Mary, makes reparation for her sins, prays for all those who are to be ordained that the Spirit of the Lord may lead them. She also prays for the soul of Geoffrey to rest in peace. Constance prays for the soul of Mary Magdalene and all the souls in purgatory. Bion Kaizi, Asaviro Mwegwa Maria Magdalena, Nalubega, Omukama, Amomuze Mirembe. Susan Subuga, Yeva Zomukama, Richard Vichobulam, Nabiona, Yamuere Dembulamu, Ovo, A Yongera, Okwe Wongera Mukama, A Yakutek Vikira Maria. This is Nakalembe, Yega Senenya Femama Maria, A Sabido Moyogom Gensi Sanyo Damlida, Omukama, A Guechu Muleche Mirembe. Nasolo Winnie, A Sabido Mejava Gensi, Emmanuel, Ne Philip Kawoya. Mkama ajwe chumule eche mirembe wa mne miwejo nejiri mpuliga atuali. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Mary Magdalene. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my, my brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels and saints as we sing the Gloria. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection. Grant, we pray, that through our intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I found him whom my soul loves. First reading, a reading from the Song of Solomon, chapter 3. The bride responds, Upon my bed by night, I sought him whom my soul loves. I sought him but found him not. I called him, but he gave me no answer. I'll raise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares, I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. The watchmen found me as they went about in the city. Have you seen him whom my soul loves? Scarcely he will, he will Clearly I had passed them when I found him whom my soul loves, the word of the Lord. Response all your psalm, response. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God. At dawn I seek you. For you my soul is thirsting, for you my flesh is spinning like a dry, welling land without water. Response, for you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. I have come before you in the sanctuary to behold your strength and, and your glory. Your loving mercy is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. Response, for you my soul is thirsting, O oh Lord, my God, I'll bless you, my life. In your name, I'll lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. With joyful lips, my mouth, my mouth shall praise you. Response, for you, my soul is thirsting, O oh Lord, my God. For you have been my strength. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings thirst for you. Your right hand upholds me. Response. For you, for you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. Brethren, let's raise up to welcome the gospel. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple 
the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw the two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have now for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. I welcome you all to this sacrifice of Mass and in a special way, happy feast day to all named after St. Mary Magdalene. Today, our focus is mainly on our encounter with the risen Lord. We have seen from our gospel text, Mary Magdalene having an encounter and a discussion with the risen Lord. But this, not, this was not the first time Mary Magdalene had the encounter with the Lord. The first encounter began right way back when you read from the gospel According to Luke, chapter 8, verse 2. You can all remember when Jesus casted out the seven demons. So that was the first encounter Mary Magdalene had with Jesus Christ. And then today we have had the second encounter after the resurrection after the first encounter, during the casting of the demons, let us not forget the past of Mary Magdalene. She was a prostitute, but after this encounter, she totally changed. She experienced the love of Christ. She felt loved. Maria Magdalene, we are seeing Kana, Kama for Jesus Christ too. Or sink and all was soca. Now Lida Nga and Azude Oyomutimagwe, Guguenu Mirizam Church. That's what we have exactly heard in the first reading. That I've seen the one whom my soul loves. So that was after the first encounter. And this love went on. On this first encounter, she felt transformed. Yaudiranga Chusidwa. She felt accepted despite her past. She became a true disciple. Yafuka. Omgoberizwa Christu omtufu. 
Atali Mubukusa. And on top of that, she supported the mission of Jesus Christ. Yaliwo Okulaba Ngayamba Kubutume Bam Kamafe Yesu Christ. And if you can all recall, she followed Christ up to the foot of the cross. Yeyo Maria yaliwo kumsalaba ngaliwone Maria nyafe azala Yesu. Yono Maria ya goberera Yesu paka kumsalaba na yenga tetwera bila bya mabega bye nti yali mukazi mubinyo. Nebo yachuka teyadirira. That's what we normally sing. Ku me bisubizo ye wasubiza. Go but is he to no musenga. Wamalida to dirida. So let us keep our promises. Let us remember what we promised the Lord. You were young, but your parents were there for you. And you had to renew these baptismal promises during the solemn communion, solemn commitment. So, or sometimes you also encounter Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. He's always present. We receive him. In our prayers, at baptism, we encountered him. We had an encounter with him. After this encounter, we are all requested to transform let us remember as you have heard in the gospel her being a true disciple of Jesus Christ she received a greatest favor she was the first to proclaim that the Lord had risen after, no matter the past, Jesus gave her the chance. She was told that she was going to It was not Simon Peter, but she was the first to go and tell a woman who was sinful. So let us not be affected by our past. Our negative past should not affect our present life and it should not affect our future. That's what we are called upon to do after having an encounter with the risen Lord. Let us also go out and tell the rest. That's why we only remind you after Mass, go and announce the gospel of the Lord. May we always Fulfill that. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We raise them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever right to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice. We are clean. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, You who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thou, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us over each other a sign of peace. <laughs> takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us the persevering love with which Saint Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, her master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for coming. Thank our choir. And we thank Vaga Media and Uganda Catholic TV for broadcasting this mass live. 
Thank you so much. And our altar servers, thank you as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon all of you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.